All right, what's up guys? Welcome to prep episode 15. So uh, we had a new low weigh in this morning, 167.2, which is the newest, like the biggest low of this entire prep. And uh, just to update you guys, so this past week I've been eating around 1,650 calories, somewhere around there, for seven days straight. Uh, those yeah, I know. Those That's are absolutely f Those are my low days though. So this is back to like a normal day for me. So I'm gonna give you guys a full day of eating today. Uh, I'm drinking around a gallon and a half of water, a gallon and a third. So it's around six of these, which is a liter. Breakfast is made, which is my pre-workout meal. I'm only doing four meals a day right now. But we have cream of rice, 45 grams, 15 grams of almond butter and then 35 grams of protein powder, like weighted, so it's around 25 grams of protein. But uh, started to feel prep, uh, feeling pretty miserable, but that's the uh, that's really awesome. So <laughs> uh, just sprinkling a shit ton of Himalayan pink salt and uh, cinnamon in this cream of rice. And uh, yeah, so. Hey, what you can do is you can smell this while you eat that. Yeah, yeah that's what I'll do, so I'll smell. <laughs> Damn, that looks good. Smell this donut while I eat my cream. This does smell insanely. Yeah, Holy shit. Good. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm not torturing him. He likes that, okay? Yeah, actually, I do like that. Um, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember. I can't remember what I was going to say. It's prep for you, bro. Yeah. Zero carbs and you can't think. Yeah. Mmm. My new protocol. That shit look good, bro. This is my new protocol because I'm injured. So two do two. When is this video dropping? Two donuts in the morning. Uh, no, Wednesday. Doctor said two donuts a day. Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a for real. The only reason why I had these because James left them. So I wouldn't have had them anyway. Yeah. All right, guys. So as you noticed, I didn't have the Ezekiel bread that I normally do in the morning. So I've cut my carb sources down to primarily two, which is cream of rice and then just jasmine rice. So I'm going to wash this. I'm going to do three servings, which is three fourths of a cup dry. Uh, I weigh everything uh, raw or dry, including like the meat that I cook and the rice, because that's what the nutritional label is for, is for the raw or dry weight. Um, but what the fuck am I saying? Uh, um, Ezekiel bread, motherfucking Ezekiel bread. Yes, yeah, Ezekiel bread. Uh, <laughs> but as you guys will, will see throughout the day with my meals, uh, they're super simple, very basic. Uh, I try to really narrow down what foods I'm eating uh, during prep to negate, you know, bloating and uh, just digestion issues. So I don't even eat any vegetables because I have horrible bloating and just digestive problems with veggie, veggies. So I just stay away from them when it gets super close to the show. But I'm gonna put this in here, turn it on before I head to the gym and then I'll see you guys at the gym. So it's a really nice day outside. So I'm gonna go for like a quick little 10, 15 minute walk uh, after that meal I just had just to help with digestion. Uh, before we do head to the gym. I really do apologize for the lack of energy. I'm not gonna act like I have a bunch of energy right now when I don't, uh, so I'm just gonna show you guys how it is, how I feel. Um, cardio has been a little difficult in the morning. I'm currently doing 60 minutes fasted. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do fasted, it doesn't matter if you do you know, post-workout cardio. I've been doing it fasted just to feel a little bit more productive in the morning. Like I said, 1,650 calories for the past seven days with 60 minutes of cardio dropped from 181 down to 167.2 this morning, which is an all-time new low. This prep, which is awesome, super excited about that. Today is a full day of eating at around 1750, which is gonna be my normal you know, caloric intake uh, for the next few weeks. And then I'm gonna bump cardio to probably 75 minutes, then 90 minutes throughout the following weeks. But of course, once we get near peak, peak week, I'm gonna go over everything that I'm doing for that. Uh, as you know, I'm coaching myself, so uh, I know my body really well in terms of what I can eat and what I need to do to peak properly. So I, I'm gonna enjoy sharing that with you guys. But as I said, a gallon and a third of water, a gallon and a half of water, uh, I'll bump it to two gallons once we get closer to the show, maybe like two, week, two three weeks out. Of course, I'll just keep you guys updated as we go along. Um, I'm gonna go on a walk and then finally, <laughs> we're gonna head to the gym. This camera's getting super heavy to hold, but I really do appreciate you guys. Uh, the support, it really does help me um, keep pushing 
and I'm excited to step on stage. So April 2nd, I signed up College Station, the Phil Heath Classic. So if you guys are in town or near there, uh, feel free to stop by and show some support. Guys, so it's just me today, which is, which is awesome. They moved my Smith machine, so I had to grab the bench from all the way over there and bring it over here, which, you know, I'm complaining about because I'm on prep, but yeah, let's get this workout in. Head down in the water. No fear is the feel of my lungs. No light in the tunnel. I'm fighting for my life and I'm giving up to kill you. guys just finished up the workout that's how we're looking uh, I wasn't able to really get a pump today it was kind of just you know when you, when your carbs are this low and even if you have a bunch of sodium sometimes you just can't get a pump when you're deep in prep so didn't get a pump today but it's still a decent workout and uh, that's how we're looking so I'm uh, gonna take you guys home and show you guys what is for meal number two which is the post-workout meal the lighting's a little weird, but that's probably the uh, the worst thing, or one of the worst, not, not the worst thing, but it's one of the worst things during prep for me is that I love working out. Uh, it's, you know, what I do. But uh, when you get deep in prep, it becomes almost a chore because you have zero energy, you can't get a pump. So workouts tend to not be as fun. It's your job almost to get in the gym and get a pump and, and try to stimulate your muscles so that you don't, you know, atrophy over the last few weeks of prep because obviously you're not packing on a ton of size when you're in such a steep deficit so uh yeah but we're gonna head home and eat meal number two which i am hungry and i want to eat so yeah all right so i got the post-workout meal all good to go and ready so i have one fourth of a cup of dry uh weighed jasmine rice and then I have seven ounces of raw weight chicken. So it's around, I believe chicken loses around 25% of, of its weight uh, during the cooking process. So uh, if you ever wanna weigh out chicken and it's cooked and you're looking to get the amount that you want, let's say you want eight ounces of raw chicken, you would multiply eight times 0.75, which would be six ounces. And so you'd weigh out six ounces of cooked chicken and that's normally uh, around the same amount and then if you want to do rice it's around three times uh, the weight um, once the rice absorbs the water through the cooking process so 45 grams would be uh, what is that 135 135 grams so but so one fourth of a cup of jasmine rice seven ounces of chicken 15 grams of peanut butter and then I also have a bunch of cinnamon and pink Himalayan salt on this so I eat with chopsticks when I get deep in prep because it just it's harder to eat uh, fast. I like to slow myself down and eat as slow as I can. So this is meal number two and this is also going to be meal number four. So before bed. So if I don't end up showing you meal number four because I'm super tired, then this is what it is. But I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, and also the rocket tank. I believe they're launching uh, new colors or dropping new colors um, in March. So be on the lookout for that. Obviously code Weston uh, to support your boy. But uh, I'm gonna eat this and I'll get back with you guys when I eat meal number three. All right, what's up guys? So just finished up making meal number three. It's a little bit late, so 
I'm probably not gonna show you meal number four. I'm just gonna put the total calories and macros for everything um, after I show you this meal. So meal number three is eight ounces raw weight of 93.7 lean ground beef with one fourth of a cup of raw weighed jasmine rice. I put some Chipotle Tabasco over it, but I'm gonna eat this and then probably in an hour because I'm a little tired, gonna make meal number four and go ahead and eat that. Normally I would like to space my meals out around three hours, but I just got done editing everything for this video. That's why I'm eating this meal a little bit late, but uh, total calories and macros for the day will be on the screen. And uh, yeah, uh, but I love you guys and I will catch you in the next one.